Uh, this guy's a crappie catching machine. I was on the water with him yesterday. None other than Xavier Vault right there. There he is. Talk to me, big he's, time. He's hanging <laughs> on the dock out here. Yes, sir. What's up, man? Yesterday was fun. Yes, Today's sir. gonna be even more fun. Oh yeah. We ain't got all them big cameras yeah, bothering we a us all lax day. Today. <laughs> yes, sir. We a little lax today. That's it. Yes, crappie breaks. Look at that. Trolling motors on each side. They can drop these things down, and it keeps you from prop washing the crappie. You can hit them and stop. You don't even control them. They're just reversed so that when you're starting to come in too close to a fish, you just pull yourself back. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to hit the water. This morning, we're going to catch a little, a few little old Texas crappie here. Not little. Not, not, I was going to say. Yeah, not little now. We're going to catch some big East Texas hubcaps. There it is. I buddy. got it. I got this down. Alrighty guys, this is Xavier checking in. I'm just coming to talk to you about these settings that I like to run on my personal graph. First thing I like to do is kind of my sonar setup, my appearance, my appearance, my color scheme. I love the Caribbean, as you can see. It has a bluish tint to it. I personally feel like it separates the fish from the structure, or I'm sorry, the cover, perfectly. My color gain, I like to run at an 80 plus. Uh, go down to my, uh, my my layout. I love having my grid overlay on. It allows me to size my, my fish much better. If you think about it, with these grids, within 20 foot, you have a two by two grid. If you're crappie fishing, you at least want a crappie that takes up half of that grid, if not more. Let's see, my noise reject, I like running that on high. My ghost reject, I like that off. My TVG, I like that off as well. And with those settings, as you can see, you have a great picture within 20 foot. And we can go all the way out to 80 foot and still have an even better picture. Oh, oh God, that's the fish. <laughs> Yes, sir. So I'm gonna tell you something. That is absolutely fun. Yes, sir. Absolute fun. Love it. Catching these things. Beauties. Absolute beauties. <laughs> hey, got the live scope settings right. And when you dial it in, crappie come in the boat. But it's time on the water. Come on now. That's you know, it. That, that's the thing, you know. So once you get the settings set up, you're not just gonna come out here and catch them because you watch you talk me through how moving my rod and we'll kinda, we'll show that here in a minute as well. Yes, sir. You know, you're talking me through moving back, moving left, moving right, all that the whole time. So, um, you know, you still gotta have time on the water once you have that unit set up. 100% man, what good is, what good is having a car if you don't know how to drive it? Amen. Yes, yep. sir. And then you gotta make sure you know what all the, the turn signal, all the different things in it is. And that's yes, a good way of putting it yes, right sir. there. Uh, hey, we've been out here crappie fishing. Well, this is an oversized uh, Lake Fork. Uh, right here. <laughs> they can kind of slide this big old. Look at that. I've been bass fishing down here all week and I ain't caught one that size. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fish, brother. How about that tank? Good it is. I think we've been chasing the bass around with that live scope. Look at it. <laughs> Hey folks, you think you need a big bait to catch bass? All you need is Jinko's Afterburner right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's a promotion plug right there. Yeah, that's a chunk, brother. Cheap, probably five, close to four and a half. Yes, sir, I say four and a half. Five, sure. five and a quarter. Look at that big old tank right there. Where you going? So, we gotta put you back in the water. 
Give him a little kiss. Yes, sir. Here we go. Oh, I like it. I like it. I don't care if it is on a, on a crappie rod. See, you, buddy. Where you go? Say, here I go. There she is. Good old tail swing. Boom. <laughs> Hey, I'm over here holding the camera talking. Xavier just took a rod away from me and says, I'm going to catch him. Look here, he's dropping down on it. Right there. So Xavier, like right here, he has got that bait right in front of that crappie right there. And now he's moving the boat left a little bit. So you got to keep adjusting the boat and literally get it right to their face. And when you get it right to their face, that was being a little stubborn. There it is. Oh. Kind of wait for that fish to flicker a little bit. She's in the way. Do what? She's on the opposite way of the G. There we go. There. She's not interested, is she? See if you can make her eat that thing. Here we go. So we keep adjusting left and right and back to the fish and back to the fish to try to tag it as this fish to bite. See it right there. Down. Look at this other one. Oh, here's the other one up here on top of this stick. Taylor's dropping down on it right there. Now you're going to slide that bait over. You're moving it to the left, correct? Uh, I'm pushing it out toward pushing the fish. It. Okay. So remember, um, I guess you could say the right side of the... So the way I explain it to a lot of people, the further right, the right you get, that means the further out uh, forward from the boat you are. Oh, that's if right. that makes sense. Yep. Swinging over the fish. See what like see. Like pitching on them a couple times. If they don't bite it on the swing, that's when I just drop it on their head. So, she she said, I'm out of bait. here. Yep. She's not interested in eating that issue. I'm going to make her eat it. Watch. But it's all about moving right and left and forward and backwards. Yes, sir, it is. And it's all boat control. And without boat control, live scoping forward facing is useless. Look at that. And that's the piece that we just watched on this thing right there. I like that first one. Save. Yes, sir. That's a fillet, right? Fillet and a half right there, ain't it? Well, and that just shows you a few of the fish that we can catch, you know of a morning. What we, we've only been out here just a little while and we've already put I don't know how many in the boat. And uh you know, but I really like the settings you use and yes, I'm, you know I hopefully the folks watching this um you know can Pick. use that knowledge right there to okay. set up their you know live scope units and yes, forward facing sonar as many people call it. Yes, sir. But sometimes I think the people 
it's good to give them the detailed information like how you set up that unit mm -hmm. uh, because for me i wouldn't know how to set it up but once you have those settings and that you're pretty much ready to go. 100%. And then you make some adjustments all throughout the day with the, what, the game? Uh, the game, yes, sir. The game. So I like to change the game based on water clarity and then also with uh, the sun and the shadows casting on the water. Gotcha. And then and the thing that you're adjusting all the time is how far you're scanning out, which typically you're using 40 foot or yes, so sir. as you're going along. And then when you see a fish, you, reel, or you turn that forward back down to about 20. Yes, sir. So as like you're approaching the fish, correct? correct? Yes, sir. I feel like fishing within 20 foot, it allows you to uh, see as much detail as you can. Look at that crappie sitting here just floating looking at us. But yeah, that um, fishing within 20 foot allows you to see all the detail that you need to see uh, to catch these fish, 100%. All right. Well, I appreciate you sharing all this information with these folks. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, if you like these videos here, go. We got some more on the on our YouTube page there. Y'all can watch more of these videos and uh, hopefully this information helps you a little bit. And Xavier, man, it's always fun. Yes, now, sir. Now we're gonna spend the day just fun fishing. Let's get so. it. Right, Xavier, there's a toad right there, man. That's the East Texas hubcap right there, brother. Look at the gut on that fish. I mean, that is a dandy. Yes, sir, it so is. You just, you just dialing me in on them. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it, it, this is awesome. <laughs> 275, right? Up. Right there. That was a. It, I was glad to get to weigh it. I was curious what it was going to weigh. 2.75, right? Yes, sir. There. That's what we call that? It's an East Texas hubcap. There it is. My goal accomplished. Boom. Boom. <laughs> All right, Xavier. Yes, sir. Well, we did it, man. We did it. I, I, got, the, I got the Texas hubcap in there the boat. Did. I said two and a half. We're at 2.75. Yes, sir. Fist bump, man. Come on, man. I might have had to drive a thousand miles for this and wait <laughs> two years, but it's been fun. It's been worth the wait. So, well, appreciate you sharing a little knowledge about the live scope up there. Appreciate you taking me out catching fish. Yes, sir. Travis over there taking uh, Mark out. And, yes, sir. Uh, it's been a fun day. It's been a blessing, man. I've had a great time. Back to the house. Come on. <laughs>